Hi everyone, my name is Kara Newman and this is the Hukalo Guided Meditation. It is Sunday, the 18th of October and I would like to welcome as my guests, I have Johannes, Marlo, um, Roxy, Valerie, Michelle and Guru Dan here with us and we're going to do a guided meditation. The meditation is going to be on moving your awareness from your third eye into your heart center and opening the eye of your heart center so that you can see the world through the heart. And it's a matter of just dropping that awareness down into the heart and then opening that eye up that is there. And when you do that, what happens is the chakra will go from its brilliant green to a gold and the Merkaba that is inside all of us will become emblazoned and it will be what will propel us and be able to let us see into the world through a different perspective. We've been seeing through our eyes and then we've been seeing through our third eye which instantly puts us on an astral plane when seeing through our third eye but when you're looking through your third eye you're still seeing what is based on the 3D reality and in order to move into the 5D we have to really move our awareness into the heart so I'm going to just show you an easy way to do that because one of the things that people struggle with so much of the time is being able to see from the heart when you see from the heart you are looking at life through a different perspective and the perspective is the perspective of unconditional love so when you're seeing the world from that perspective, you're able to engage in a much different way. And the reason that we're going to learn to really do this is because there are moments when you will realize, how am I seeing the world? And that's a question that you should ask yourself when you're perceiving the things that are going on around you, how you're reacting to them, how you're feeling. If you're, if you're feeling defensive or confused or nervous, about something it's because it's not being seen through the heart when you see through the heart you see through things in the in the place of peace you have a lot more compassion you have a lot more love and that's what we want to get to and eventually as you start to do that it becomes almost automatic and that's what we're going for so I'm going to push my cat down because he's standing in front of the screen and what I want you to do is I want to just put your feet on the ground, just take a little space between your legs, make sure your feet are on the ground, and put your hands either connected like this together or on your lap so that you're, you're able to center yourself and be grounded. <laughs> and then, one moment. And sit up as straight as you can, twisting your neck, twisting your shoulders and just getting a little bit relaxed and putting your hands on your on your lap as I said you can close your eyes that's the best thing to do you're going to be breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth and you're going to be breathing in like a wave of the ocean so you'll be breathing in for three and then out for two pausing for just a second Breathing in again, holding the breath for just a moment, and letting it out. And that's just to relax us. So you take a deep breath in through the nose, hold it, and let it out through the mouth. And again, in through the nose, and out through the mouth. And continue to breathe in this way as I speak. Again, in through the nose and out through the mouth. And as you do that, bring your perspective to your third eye, to that awareness. And you can take your hand if you want and place it on your third eye if you're not sure where that is. We're breathing in and letting the breath go and breathing out. And breathing in and breathing out. 
holding your perspective on your third eye and try to sense what is around you from that perspective just a few feet in front of you and because the third eye is multi-dimensional you don't need to see only out of the front of you but you can see above you below you to the side and all around you but get a sense of the room around you from that perspective and then as you have your awareness think of a beam of white light coming from the universe down through the top of your head that is your crown chakra going through going through your third eye down into the throat chakra into the heart chakra down into the stomach solar plexus and your base and going through you and down into the ground grounding you touching mother earth and then coming back up the same way through your base chakra which is red and as it comes through let that red chakra balance itself become a bright red and about this big about as round as a cantaloupe and let it really grow and glow like a golden excuse me like a ruby gem and then as it comes up into your solar plexus again picture a very round orange bright ball being ignited by the light as it comes up then moving into your stomach a yellow ball being bright and ignited with the light and then as you come up through the heart which is green very green bright ball being ignited by this light and then up into your throat which is a beautiful blue ignited by the light then coming up to your third eye which is a wonderful purple being ignited by this light and then to the top of your head to your crown chakra which is an indigo having that become a big ball of indigo and then the light coming up keep this beam alive as a continual flowing of energy now again bring your awareness back to your third eye and what I want you to do is to picture the awareness sliding down into your heart in a backwards motion so it goes backwards through your head down through your throat and it lands in the chest and feel the difference between seeing from your third eye and now having that same awareness in the area of the heart there is an eye there as well and science has proved that there are cells that are visual within the heart and what we're going to do is we're going to help open them so they really can start to see so as your awareness is moved down into your heart picture and maybe you hold your hands in front of your chest like two doors holding them in front and what I want you to do is in a small motion open your hands like you're opening the doors of your heart so that you have the awareness facing out into the world if you haven't done the dropping backwards take the awareness from the third eye and drop it down into the heart and then open the doors of your heart so that you can see out this is the place of unconditional love and as you open your heart picture a gold stream of energy coming down through that beam that we've established and going into the heart center and changing the color of that chakra from green to gold because gold is the color 
of universal love. So open that heart chakra and now feel the world around you in the same perspective as you did when you were feeling it from the third eye, feeling in front of you, beside you, around you, it's a different way of feeling from the heart. You are led from your chest. You are led from your love. You are led from the knowing of who you are. Any time that you're in a situation where you notice that you're not seeing through your heart, put your hands in front of your chest and just open them symbolically as you're doing now in this meditation and it will bring your perspective right back to where we are at this moment and as we sit here if you have a pet near you or there's another person near you or just someone that you love picture the energy from your heart center connecting to their heart center and letting the stream of the flow of that love touch them and really feel that, feel what it is like to connect to another person in that way. Anytime that you want to do this, it will change your perspective because you will have that heart-to-heart -heart connection. So once again, any moment that you want to move into your heart, you can just symbolically open your hands in front of your heart like you're throwing open the doors of yourself. You just bring your hands back to your knees and take another deep breath in and letting it out. And taking it in and letting it out. What I'd like to do while we're in this state of being in our heart center, I would like for us to use this energy to heal our world and to heal our planet. So think of a situation that you would like to see transformed, whether it's your government or someone in your family or the environment, whatever it is that you wish to share your heart energy with. And if it is an entity like the government, picture the government as having its own heart because it indeed does. And reach out with your heart energy to that energy. If it's another person, picture their heart and reaching out to them. And within your heart, you're always saying to them, Namaste. And the definition of Namaste is a very humbling one. It's saying the God in me sees, knows, loves, and acknowledges the God in you. In that energy, you are talking to them in their truth of who they are and reminding them who they are, helping them to remember. So in this moment, as you take a deep breath in and that energy flow coming from the universe with that golden light of unconditional love, send it to whomever you wish to see healed. And take a deep breath in. The energy is flowing through you, building up in your heart. And as you breathe out, release it to the being that you wish to show love, to the entity you wish to show love, to the society you wish to show love. And breathe out. And one more time, deep breath in. And breathe out. You never need to close your heart, your heart center. I would say walk with it open. But sometimes we will forget 
to look from our heart and not through our eyes. Our eyes will still work, but we should feel and experience also with the bio, the bi perspective. That's what's being multidimensional is seeing through your 5D heart and being able to see with your 3D eyes at the same time and choosing which reaction you'll have. So keep your heart open as much as you can. And when you forget, just remember, open yourself up again. Drop your perspective from your third eye, from your real eyes down into your heart and open yourself up. We're going to come back now and we'll take any questions and have any discussion that we can have. We're going to take just a few seconds to breathe in and breathe out and come back into our awareness. And at the end of our three breaths of coming back, we're going to do three perfect ohms and say namaste and come back. So first, we'll take a deep breath in and let it out. And a deep breath in. Letting out, a deep breath in, and letting out, and then folding your hands in prayer position, and dropping your head just a little bit, we'll do three perfect ohms. Deep breath in, and on the exhale, we will ohm. Oh, Namaste. Much love to you. Bring your awareness back and open your eyes whenever you're ready. Is anyone back that would like to share or join a conversation? <laughs> I have good. Oh my goodness, there's Roxy. I'm back, baby. That was okay. very, very cool. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you. Did you experience anything to like to share? Well, the big thing is, is oh, okay, how do I say it? I was aware from my chest. I was looking out from my heart and it took me a few, let's say, attempts to uh, I re-slid back down, you know, yeah. did that path a couple of times yeah. to really center on there. And then, you know, trusting the imagination of looking from that perspective and seeing the height difference from where, where my eyes are and where the chest right. is and then shifted in, into feeling the things around me more so. So, yeah, it was very cool. Thank you. That was fun. <laughs> Well, you yeah. can do that actually too. You can you can drop your awareness into any part of your body that yeah. you need to. Yeah. Um, and you really, because we do see visually from here, and as soon as we shift into the third eye, it, it immediately puts us in the astral. 
So what we if okay, we okay that makes we, sense. So when we so it because seeing from a different perspective, especially from the heart chakra, makes you multi-dimensional because the heart chakra is the chakra from where we are fifth dimensional beings. That is the unconditional right. love area. So you're actually still able to see with your physical eyes, but you're also able to sort of really see from out of your heart. And you actually are walking in two dimensions at once. That's the multidimensional experience that you can have right now in this body. It's, it's seeing from, from here. So right. it, it is sort of a lifting and dropping. It's sort of a, if you could see a motion, it's sort of like a, like this. <laughs> that's that's right. the way it is. Yeah, but it's it's a really, it's a nice experience. And, and, and if you do the idea of opening the doors, whenever you start to, you know, you can Oh, yeah, that was awesome, too. Yeah, that yes. was really cool. So when, you, when you're in a situation where you, you think, I'm not experiencing this the way that I know that I can, you can just, it's sort of a, you know, hypnotized um, idea to just open those doors and it will let you shift your perspective it's like a mnemonic device you know when you go like this or whatever it is for you it'll just help you shift and remember that that perspective and it makes you lift your chest just a little bit as you're walking around because you're wanting to talk to people from the fifth dimension <laughs> and depending on how big your chest is, you know, it might be quite a quite interesting perspective to see. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm glad. Anyone else want to share? Anybody? Hi, you again. It was awesome. Hi, Johannes. Thank you very much. It was rem making me remember a lot of many things. So thank you, Karen. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. In a moment. So I don't have anything more to share. It was just awesome, and I remember a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Did anyone have any questions or any difficulties that to getting into the um, getting into the meditation or not, Michelle? Um, I was gonna say it was an interesting feeling because it is my understanding that my third eye isn't like opened so I wondered how that would feel putting my attention on the third eye and carrying it through down to the heart I did that visually like you know with the light dropping into the heart but I felt it very clearly and especially with the white light going through each of the chakras and then you describing the size and the color as we mm -hmm. went through each up. The thing I thought that was really interesting is when I had a shift of feeling when you said go from green to gold mm -hmm. in the heart and then move it outward and taking those doors and opening it up felt really expansive. Like well, it's opening you up to the the oneness of who we are. We're already we are. You know, people always say, "Oh, I have to, you know, become this." But it's really who we are, and it's about taking away the barrier between who we are and who we um, and what we've enclosed ourselves into. You know, okay. the the limitation that we've put ourselves into and that's not by mistake that that happened I mean we did that on purpose we came into this sort of 3d body to experience separation but now we've reached a point where we're like enough of the separation it's time to open up so what we have to do is remove some of those barriers I, w I would disagree with you that your third eye is completely closed I would say yeah, maybe would you which yeah. maybe you could you can do a meditation just like what we've done bring the light in and work on sort of declouding the third eye but I don't think your third eye is completely closed you know you have right. intuition and it's, yes. it, it's it's just like a muscle it's it's about developing it and you know trusting it and mm -hmm. and it'll continue but 
I don't know that your third eye is completely closed. There's I don't think it's completely closed, but it definitely is not wide open either. Well, the, that's okay, but that's just something to work on. Yeah, you know, exactly. that's just something to work on. And and I will say that you know the third eye serves as a very good barometer about um, how do you say picking up vibration. Mm -hmm. But I don't think it's the best judge of what is. It it depends on how what perspective you want to see things. If we choose to see things through the perspective of unconditional love, we really need to see through the heart. heart. Yeah. If we want to just pick up stuff, we can see it through the third eye, you know, mm -hmm. or we can just see it through our physical eyes as well. Mm -hmm. um, but to see things through the heart is a different is a different way of maneuvering through, you know, through, yeah. through the universe. And uh, ideally, again, it's about being multi-dimensional beings and about being able to see things from both perspectives. To be able to react from the, be able to see what's really happening in the truest sense of it, but also being able to react to it from the aspect of unconditional love. And I think that's that's really the, the mastery that we're always talking about. Right. Well, it's you know? interesting because the when that expansiveness opened, I immediately saw a scene before me where I could practice that, but I noticed that I had to hold my hands out like that, <laughs> like okay. in my mind's eye. Yeah. Like I have to hold it to approach the world with loving kindness from a heart space instead of a mind space. Yeah. And, and believe me, I have daily, daily instances I could put this into practice. So anyway, it, I could definitely feel the shift, and I want to do it again and practice like you were talking about. So, yeah, and you know, yeah. you can just take a few breaths and and just try to get just taking those breaths, maybe ohm, just to get that into that centeredness, and then open yourself up. But if you're in a situation where you're walking outside and you know something's happening right in the moment, make just take one good centering breath and just throw your hands open if you need to. You know, yeah, that's probably the way to do it. I, I want to say something about the OM. The OM is in three sounds. The OM is the ah, oh, um, you know, those three sounds. But there's actually a fourth sound of the OM, and that's the silence. Yeah. That is that silence be yeah. between the next OM, and that is the moment of when you're really in that oneness, when you really have no barriers between anything and that is also the moment of the most crystalline pure unconditional love that you can find and that's why it's important to own yeah so, it was beautiful actually well good I'm glad you like thank it. you very much thank you very much anybody else have anything to say I'm going to, well, I just want to thank you one more time, Karen. I'm going to hop off. I'm going to go upstairs okay. and.